Hello and welcome to Rahman Digital Production. In today's lecture, we are starting the new concept of gaming with the variables and constants, that is loops. The very important topic, you will never see a program without loops in any of the high level languages. So let's get started. If we want to print the word Pakistan only once, then it is very easy to do so by using a single print statement. Similarly, if we want to print the word Pakistan 20 times, it is not easy but comparatively easy to use 20 print statements. What if we want to print the word Pakistan 1000 times? It will be very difficult to write thousand print statements. To overcome this problem, a technique called loop is used. Now, first question arises in the mind, what is loop? Loop is a technique used to repeat a statement or a group of statements the specified number of times. For example, you are writing print Pakistan and you want to execute this statement 1000 times then it will be repeated 1000 times and that is what the definition is saying loop is a technique used to repeat a statement or a group of statements the specified number of times there are two types of loop, one is called control loop and one is called uncontrolled loop. For controlling the loop, a special variable called counter variable is used. To use counter variable properly, a loop must have initialization. You must have to initialize the counter variable. The second is testing condition. There must be a condition. If that is true, the loop will iterate. If that condition is false, the loop will stop. And the third one is increment the counter variable. So these are the three techniques you must have to use in performing a control loop. Mainly there are two types of loops in Python. One is called the for loop and the second one is called while loop. Let us discuss first the for loop which is the most widely used loop in not only in Python but in any programming language. So the most widely used loop is for loop the general syntax of for loop is you have to start the loop with the keyword for and then temporary variable and then n and then there may be less tuple or string we will see the example of each one in today's lecture until the condition is true the statement will be executed so let us discuss these keywords one by one. The far keyword initiate the far loop. That is the starting point. Temporary variable is holding the value of currently processed item during each iteration. This is a temporary variable. In separate each item from the others. Less tuple string is what we want to iterate over. We are searching inside it. There is a colon at the end of the far that gives instruction to execute the body of the loop that follows. When the condition is true, body of the loop will be executed. And the body of the loop will be in a new line. So a new line will be inserted with what? With indentation. What is indentation? At least four spaces you have to leave from the left side of the environment before writing the body of the loop otherwise we will get indentation error now the final is statement which is called body of the loop will be executed 
until the condition is true. Let us elaborate these with the help of a simple example. In this example, we are doing what? We are using the list. We haven't yet talked about the list concept, which is our next chapter. But for the time being, they are storing multiple element of the same time. List is a one dimensional array. So let us write this program first and then see the result. Okay, dear student, this is the program. The first one is elements and in the elements list, list is always enclosed inside these braces. There is an element hydrogen, lithium and carbon inside it. Now we want to process this list and print the values whatever are stored inside this list. For this we are using for loop and it is starting from the far and this is the temporary variable you can use anything inside it a b c x y z i j k whatever you want it is totally on you but these are the keywords in you have to write it is in nothing else than that and elements is this list so for element hold the value of each element in the elements list inside the element variable and then print it. Let us run this program and then see the result that whether it is printing or not. So you can see they printed hydrogen, lithium, carbon which are the elements of this uh, list. Now let's go back to the slide. Here we will write a program for the range of numbers. If we want to print numbers starting from 0 or from 1 or from 2 and increment it by 1 or 2 or as many steps you want. So let us write a program that is the second form of the for loop. Here the keyword for num is a temporary variable which will store the value starting from 0. In the first iteration it will store the value of 0. In the second iteration it will find the value of 1. And similarly in the next iteration 2, 3, 4. Remember that it is starting from 0 and it will go to 4 not 5. It will not print 5. Let us see this with the help of example. This is the program for num in range 0 to 5. Print num and let us see this result that it is printing from 0 and going to 4. You can see it here that if we want to print, uh, print a range of numbers then we will use this command. Now let's go back and try another concept of this. What if we want to print 1 and 5 as well? So then you will use this program for num in range 1 it will start for 1 and it will print 6 values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 but not the 6 it will go to 5 let us see this program as well so here you can see that num in range 1 comma 6 print num and it will print 1 as well as 5 so let us run this program and then see the result. Yes, it is starting from 1 and all the way going to 5. Next is our program which will print the odd or even numbers. Dear learners, I will print the odd numbers and I will leave even numbers printing on you people which is very easy. Let us discuss the program. Here one thing is 
added and that is raised to. Everything else is the same. For num in range 1, 10. Start from 1 and the end number will be 10. Print the odd numbers and that will be the step. 2, 2 should be added. First it will print 1 and then 2 will be added with 1. It will become 3 and 3 will be printed not 2. Then 2 will be added with 3, it will become 5 and 5 will be added, not 5. So it will go all the way till 9. Let us see this program as well. So here I am printing the odd number. Let us run this program first and see the result. Yes, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. With the minor changes, you can print it for the even number and that is why I am leaving it for you. Next is how to enumerate. Yes, enumeration is another process used in for loop. What does it mean? It means that if we want to print with the elements hydrogen, lithium, carbon, etc. the serial number as well. So it will start from 0 and will go all the way to 2. So let us take the older program with the minor changes. Here this is the elements hydrogen list, lithium, carbon are in the list and I want to process this for index. I use this variable as index. You can use anything. An element is the older one in enumerate elements. And I am telling that enumerate put numbers along with hydrogen, lithium and carbon. So it will print index 0, 1, 2 because there are three elements in the list. And then elements will be printed. Let us do this program as well. So elements is hydrogen, lithium, carbon and there is enumeration technique used in it. Let us run this program. So I am running this program and you can see 0 is lithium, 1 hydrogen and 2 carbon. Let us take a bit complex version of this and that is I want to print in the form of a sentence that element means hydrogen is at position index means at zero in the list. Similarly, in the next iteration, lithium is at position one in the list, and in the third iteration, carbon is at position two in the list. Let us see this program practically as well. So here I have written this program and after running the program you will see that hydrogen is at position 0 in the list, lithium is at position 1 and so on. So you can use the print formatted version as well, let's move forward and Python for loop with the string. I told you at the beginning that in the general syntax there might be a tuple, a string or a list. You saw the demonstration of list. Next is the turn of string. So let us First understand this program I am saying print string iteration that will be the heading I told you that print is used to uh, print the headings in the reports so thing now variable is equal to Zahoor and for x in where because variable is a string I want to process individual letter first it will the x will take the value of z and it will print it. 
in the second iteration it will take the value of a in x and it will print a in the separate line and similarly in the other iterations they will take individual character and will print it let's see this program on the screen as well so here i have written this program and let us run this program and see the result of this program you can see that it is printing z a h o o r because it is a string and we can process the string as well so this was another way of playing with the variables in for loop next is the tuple python for loop with the tuples i am taking a variable tup and storing in it the pair of numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 you are free to use any number then for x i want this first number will be stored and for y the second number in this tuple will be stored and i am printing x comma y inside this uh, variable so let us run this program as well and see what is happening when we run this program so let us run it without wasting our time you can see that the tuples are printed that is 1 comma 2 3 comma 4 5 6 we haven't yet formatted it you can format it but because we are learning the very basic concept of these uh, for loop so i am not going in greater detail to format it like in parentheses separated with comma but you have seen that tuple can also work with the for loop as well tomorrow we will come with the new ideas with the new programs do practice on these programs and learn it writing my programs and getting the same result is not a fun you have to write your own program utilize your mind to do something special on it then you will be on your way to become a best programmer thank you very much